Hi everyone, um, my name is Elike Kambidibwa and with me today I have Roger um, and we are at the Foundation Clinic. Good, good day Roger, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Okay, um, Roger, can you tell me a little bit about yourself and what brought you to the Foundation Clinic? Um, sure, so I'm Roger, yes. Um, what brought me here? I had a problem here, yeah. so it was drug addiction. Okay, mm. and, um, and when did you come to the Foundation Clinic? 2011. Oh, was that's, the time. that's some time back. It was. So yeah. it sounds like you've had a journey in recovery, quite a journey in recovery. Can mm. you tell us a little bit about it? Um, you know what, long story short, I, you know what, if someone had to tell me in, in, in school that I would be a drug addict, I would have said to them, no ways, I'm such a, a good person, um, I, I don't... I don't dabble in such things, but you know, the thing is life happens. I got curious and the curiosity got the better of me. And then I started dabbling in a few things. And before I knew it, I was quite in the thick of things. And um, yeah, it was very challenging. I tried to get out of it and, and that's what brought me here. What is the one thing that stands out to you about the Foundation Clinic? Um, the, the, the client centricity of the place, how they really, really focus on, on me and, and my needs. And it wasn't a case of, you know what, when I came in, a case of, you know what, uh, ruling by the belt or, or yeah. a stick and saying, you know what, you did wrong. This is what you need to do. Right. You need to be a good person. It, it was kind of from, you know what, you hear, you hear because you, life happens. And now we're here to actually support you and, and guide you in the right direction. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that sounds great. It sounds like you found a family away from family. Most definitely. I, I, I can't really thank the people here enough. Um, and I find myself levitating here uh, when, I need, when I have challenges, yeah. um, when I need a bit of support. Um, so it's been amazing. Um, because I know now that I'm not alone. Yeah. It sounds like it's a safe place to be. For sure, for sure. Yeah. It's, a, it's a place where I know I can be myself. I know I, I won't be judged. I know that um, people understand me um, yeah, and allow me to be who I am here. Okay. So what would you say to somebody who needs help? I think my message would be to be bold. I know it's very scared it's very daunting yeah. uh, the thought that when I came here I, I, I thought to myself it cannot be me a drug addict never but um, you, you know the thing is like I said life happens I, I took the bold step uh, which is my, 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 my perhaps my ask to to not be scared and to make that bold decision um, the first three days for me was hectic but I think if, 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 if you can actually go through the three days or whatever it is, that uncomfortable phase, yeah. after that, you know what, there's, that, there's a light at the end of the tunnel and yeah. to not give up hope that, 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 that there is life out there. It's just for us to give it a chance to say, you know what, um, whatever I did in life, um, I still can be a good contributor in society. Um, and I'm not a bad person. Maybe I, I made bad choices, um, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, I can still give my best to, to my fellow colleagues. I can show love. I can, yeah, I can, I can still be a good person. Hmm.